Since 2016, we have a UN position that can take complaints of violence and discrimination against LGBTI. And that is the position of the UN independent expert on protection against violence and discrimination based on SOGI. <laughs> Secondly, many of you were not here for the past two days, but we were talking about business and human rights and LGBTI. Today we have experiences, we have guidance of good practices in terms of how the business sector should act and react on LGBTI human rights issues. We invite the business sector to number one, integrate LGBTI issues into their policies at the workplace. Number two, protect people from discrimination and violence, particularly to have channels of redress. Number three, provide support, equivalency in terms of spousal benefits to LGBTI and their spouses. <laughs> Number four, work with the supply chain because it's a global link. And number five, work with the community beyond. Those are the elements of business, human rights and LGBTI which invite even more emphasis today on small and medium scale industries in this region. <laughs> and thirdly in Thailand, in Thailand, thirdly, the trail. We have a gender equality law now which protects people from discrimination based on gender expression. In other words, better protection for transgender people. And we look forward to a civil partnership and marriage law without discrimination under the sun. Three. Now we come to the path ahead. Three not so good elements. Number one, 60 something countries still criminalize same sex relations. Boom. Number two, 50 countries worldwide still do not recognize gender identity. In other words, transgender people are not recognized in terms of their gender to be able to change ID documents and birth certificates. And number three, sadly, plenty of violence and discrimination. Also, pathologization. People are looked upon as medical cases, including intersex people, who should not be medical cases, but who should just be treated as humans to be respected, like everyone. <laughs> and finally, what is the journey ahead together? Very simple journey of three captions. No criminalization, please. No violence and violations, please. No exclusion, no marginalization, please. So let's sail together and billow with the wind. Blessed by the beautiful colors of the rainbow involving all of us as partners, entrenched in a sense of humanity and empathy for diversity, at once heartwarming, at once scintillating, at once exhilarating. Thank you so much and congratulations, Professor Richard Mankato, the winner of the Jeevan Underground Award of 2020. Big congratulations and I would like to invite all the His Excellencies to please join us on the stage. All the award winners tonight, please join us for this photo session.